tell me something about yourself thank you sir for giving me opportunity to introduce myself i am say sanatan barik for odisha newly qualified chartered accountant in november 22 attempt i completed bcom from bhadrak autonomous college bhadrak fm university balekar i have done my article chief from khandalwal prajapati and company which is located in kolkata basically the statutory and tax audit and internal audit firm i did my article chief exposure of audit of various sectors like automobiles and bfc real estate sectors and large trading company i performed internal audit of ak trading private limited around turnover 400 crores and performed the procure to pay higher to retard and uh, order to cash and also responsibility to report to the management i conducted a tax audit of various companies firm and individuals i prepare and file inter- uh, income tax return of companies firm and individuals thank you sir that's about me you have done the audit of uh, automobile sector i see and the paper trading company what were your major yes. observations in these two sectors sir while auditing of automobile sector i check the debtor balance huge amount debtor balance shown by the client in the financial statement i obtain the independent confirmation from the debtor uh, they replied they had paid the cash when it was purchased but the client company has not been recorded in cash balance more than 2 lakhs and uh, there still the outstanding balance shown in the financial statement our firm the issue a qualifying audit report and also audit of nbfc paper trading limited the management had calculated csr expenditure to percentage of average net profit after tax i told to the management it will be calculated 2% of average net profit before tax they read the section 135 and also calculate accordingly and also audit of nbfc company the payroll process is not good i help to the management to streamline the payroll process and what about the real estate business which you have handled any major observation in real estate uh, no sir i major observation it major incurred of the expenditure incurred to the capitalization expenditure like a capitalization expenditure because all cost are incurred to directly to the cost of a building Uh, buildings they incurred uh, and uh, that area the uh, sir i could not be remember um, what exactly happened what are the major controls you would uh, see while you do the audit of an it system of a real estate business major controls are uh, it sector business major control is the da- uh, direct expenditure relating to the cost of the buildings uh, all the expenditure relating to the cost of the buildings and uh, some expenditure is office expenses like uh, staff and uh, tipping expenses uh, related to the um, profit and loss account and uh, market price of the real estate business this that area is lower than the cost it is a rich area when the builder sell the uh, building that price he cannot be recover the cost of uh, building that is the major area rich area of the builder what is the major risk in the procure to pay process sir procure to pay is a major rich area uh, some purchase purchase order is not uh, purchase order is not authorized in vertical health and no segregation of duties of warehouse department and purchase department and account department and also purchase are made from unrelated parties without authorization and uh, sir um, multiple invoice issued to the same vendors with the same items and uh, payment without through a matching systems those are major risk of procure to pay
what are the key components of an RCM matrix? Key components of RCM matrix is like a process system, name of the process, sub process, and a risk metric controls, and also detection risk like suppose unauthorized data is written up, unauthorized data is written up at a bad debt, then you should check the aging schedules of uh, data balance, uh, how many times, uh, how much amount of outstanding. Uh, that is a detection reach. What are the various risk factors which are in inherent in business? Inherent? Sir, I don't know sir, exactly. Right, you don't know. What are the key activities in process risk and control? Key activities of process risk controls like that. Uh, I don't know. Thank you, don't. Huh? What are the controls that should be there in the sales cycle? Sir, 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 control, sir, um, order to cash systems uh, uh, take place when the customer place the order with the purchase from the company and the customer order is recorded and also invoice is generated sent to the customers and uh, um, the customer make the payment the company which is collected by the company and uh, payment is recorded in the books of account. The entire process is the order to um, selling cycles. Order to. Sell. What is the example of management override of control? Sir, management override control is a fraudulent financial statement prepared by the management, like a pass the journal entries in near close period and manipulate accounting estimate and uh, account accounting preparation and transfer cash balance to their personal account. Give example of preventive internal control. Sir, I don't know. Write it down. Hmm. Give examples of internal control procedures. Internal control procedures, sir. The policy and procedure followed by the management. Uh, to orderly conduct of business like safeguarding of asset, prevention, detection of frauds and errors, timely and preparation of accounting records, and uh, timely preparation of reliable financial statement. What are the steps in the uh, order to cash process? Sir, order to cash process first law. Order to cash is initiated when the customer makes the order with the company for purchase and customer order is recorded. And after that, uh, the invoice is generated and sent to the customer and customer makes the payment which is collected by the company and record, recorded in the books of accounts by the company. What is entity level control? Sir, I don't know, sir. What are the components of internal control? Sir, component, basic components of risk assessment, control environment, and also monitoring information and communication. Um, What are the steps in the P2P process? For P2P process, first the warehouse department maintain the entire inventory systems 
suppose the uh, uh, quantity is below the economic order quantity, then the warehouse department issue the purchase requisition to the purchase department. After uh, after that purchase department uh, select the vendor and the quotation invited by the purchase department from vendors based upon the lower bidding price PO issued. The selected vendors send goods to the warehouse department. Then after that, warehouse department check the goods. If any defective is found, they ask to the management. Management issue the debit note. Finally, the accountant, sir, finally the accountant department uh, check the three-way matching system like invoice, goods received note, and PO and payment made to the vendors. What is the risk in the higher to retire process? The higher to retire process is the manual attendance register is manually. Everyone is edited and deleted the um, employee master data and also employee tag leaves without um, cutting of the salaries salaries. And full and final payment is not given when employees retired. Those are the major risks of the hire to retire. There are, uh, there are the failures of the US banks, okay? Four to five banks have failed in the recent times, okay? What is the reasons for that failures? Failures actually is the faulty and finance system of a business process, like a bank system, so like a, a pricing errors, issue the check, pricing errors, and incompatible invoice systems, like underbuild and unbuild, and mismanagement also implemented. That's a failure to the banking system. Why the US banks are failing? Yeah, they, are not properly, hmm. they are not properly managed, it is like a mismanagement system. So there is no coordination to managers and also customers. And that's a major issue. What is the main reason for the failure of the banks? I wanted to know that. Sorry, sir, I don't know. Sir. Uh, there is a report by Hinderberg, okay, on Adani. Do you know what was written in that? Hello, sir. Pardon, sir. Please repeat uh, again. Hindenburg uh, has written about Adani business, okay. There are some allegations. Do you remember those allegations? Sir, yes, sir. The share price, those allegations, the impact of the Adani group and the share prices was a sudden fall on. In and uh, huge loan balance was a default in those taken in the Adani groups and uh, he, he had to default the payment of the repayment of loans. That's why the market price of share is fallen down. Uh, okay. There's a fraud on go mechanic. Do you know about it? No, sir. Let it do. What are the major fraud risk factors in any organizations? Uh, fraud risk factors uh, like a significant risk of risk of fraud and uh, also unusual transaction with related parties and uh, risk involves uh, transaction with related parties risk involves uh, unusual transaction these are the factors what factors leads to a fraud sir i don't know sir okay no 
What is professional skepticism? Sir, professional skepticism means uh, having a questioning and alert mind. As an auditor, to maintain professional skepticism during the course of audit, uh, like uh, unusual circumstances and also uh, and having a questioning and alert mind. Why you want to join internal audit? Sir, I have a strong interest in the financial system and the process of understanding of the business. And also, I believe that oh, working in internal audit will allow me to gain valuable experience in this field. This is a field where you get to meet your best of the people in different fields with whom we can exchange the knowledge and get a lot of learning. That's why I am oh, joining the internal audit. What are the major recommendations you have given to an internal audit client in your article series? To a problem they had in their businesses, what was that problem and what was your recommendation to them? Sir, in my uh, article ship internal audit, I had found a, uh, various descriptions like a P2P procedures and they are not authorized PO order in vertical health. And uh, some quantities mismatch, uh, like a uh, quantity is not match with the purchase requisitions, and then there is no segregation of duties, purchase department, and warehouse department, and account department. And uh, some and permit the vendors without through a matching system. And also, I discuss with the management and to rectify those mistake, mis mistake, mistake. Why you don't want to join state audit? Why internal audit only? But I see you have good experience in state audit also. Sir, I have strong interest on it. I am interested very much to internal audit because how it is a depth knowledge of how to understand the business process, how to understand the process, what are the controls applied by the management. Uh, it is and uh, it is a um, solution driven approach and ability to deal with the people, and that's why I'm joining the internal audit. How do you identify a ghost employee? Sir, identify ghost, you have to check the KYC norms and also you have to check form 12 double B and check the form 16 also and a TDS written under section 192 and a background report of the uh, employee. What is window dressing? Sir, actually, window dressing is uh, adopted by the management to manipulate the accounting estimate and prepare fraudulent financial statement, like a set of asset and liabilities to show the uh, show the health position of the company to the shareholders and the stakeholders to they invest more and more the uh, company. What is an example of a detective control? Sir, actually, detective control do not detect. Detective control, sir, suppose unauthorized bad debt is written off, then you should try to check the edging schedules of a trade debtors, like uh, how many years and how much outstanding they go. The, it is an example of the detection. Why do we hire you? We have many more people who have answered all the questions rightly. Okay, they might be much more knowledgeable than you. Give me two reasons why you should be hiring you. Sir, actually I have experience in the internal audit, like how to understand the business process and how to apply the control and su su suggestion to the management, how to 
design the internal control systems and that skill i use to your company and that's why i am a good fit to the this position but we have other persons also who are much more experienced than you any other reason why should we hire you sir although i am the most deserving candidate and i use as the i am solution driven approach people and also i use as my skill and talent to your organization while conducting the internal audit i am the good learner and quick quick approach to learn more do you have any question for us yes sir can you share more about that be responsibility in this internal audit uh my hr will communicate to you if you are selected we will let you know my hr will tell you all of those, those things okay it was great interview you come into the same thing i'll give you the feedback also what we you areas you have to improve okay come to the same link okay. there were a lot of mistakes and the good, good parts also we'll discuss about that. come into the same link